beautiful passing play right there, Sean. What a save! We are back for the second championship game, second out of the third one this weekend. This one's in the T2 division. We have the A team taking on Buffalo New Era, two powerhouse squads, a lot of great talent on both of these teams, so should be a great matchup. Working from left to right, Buffalo with the white and black trim, the A team with the black and red, and they will work right to left. Now, a good battle for it. Taken away by Margo. Looking for Shawnee scores. Screened in front. And the first goal of the game will go to number eight, Eric Margo. And he gets the eight team on the board. Shot bounced off long stretch pass. Linus walks in by himself and tucks it in. Number 10, Teot Linus with the goal. An excellent feed from the back end to spring that scoring opportunity. Renouf, or Schultz, I apologize, falling down on that one. Nice little fake pass there to create some space. Stood up by Hackett. Has Davis with him. He gets poked. It comes right back to a six. Shot in and goes right underneath of Adams and... Buffalo will take a 2-1 advantage here at the 326 marker. Referee's going to let them play. Oh, physicality picking up here. Ten seconds left to go here in this period. Dumped all the way back down. Schultz goes all the way back in. That will do it for the first period. After one, 2-1 to one is the score. Buffalo with the lead. We will take a quick timeout. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching Grove City Hockey. We are back for the second period between Buffalo New Era and the A team. Got a good one on hand. Brad is one now. Right handed shot holding on to it. Works it over. Now one on two. An unfavorable matchup for Eunuch, but gets some speed and shoots at five hole scores. So it'll be three to one in favor of New Era. Eunuch with the goal goes five hole. We'll get this set to resume here. Just a little bit of a break. Making sure that he was okay. Got hit right in the face. I believe it was a stick that caught him. And don't see any blood or anything. So he's able to skate off his own power. Good to see that. Now right in front. Backhanded in. They make up for the goal that was essentially waved off. Garvin goes back top shelf where Mama hides the cookies. Trying to carry it in. Last second shot. And... A go wide. So after two, it'll be four to one. Buffalo New Era over the A team. We will step aside. We'll be right back for the third period. Thank you for watching Grove City Hockey. We are back for the third period. Four to one's the score with New Era in control of this game. Good passing. Looking to create a space, have a man open right in front, gets that hack on top of the point, and it's in. So it'll be five to one, back to even strength, early third period goal at three th or 1330. While you have a chance, make sure you ch uh, check out Epic Hockey 3P1C. It's just that the Let's Play Hockey Expo came out with a brand new stick. Make sure to check it out. It handles very well. Go to www.3p1c or epichockey.com. Check them out on their socials, Instagram. Daniel Costage is a good good guy and a good family business. We always love to support the family businesses. It's taken away, and here comes Higley. Higley for Schultz, and he scores. Schultz with the goal, and it's going to make it 5-2. to Finally able to beat Takahashi. Been a very long time since that one happened. Face-off will be to the left of Takahashi. 
Ocampo will take the draw against Linus. Tied up four, and Margo with a shot and goal. So, very quickly, the A-team has now cut the lead down from four to two, making this a two-goal game, five to three, and they're back in it, so New Era is going to have to look to get that counter punch in. Holds on to it. Trying to get it across and shooting score. Rhodes gets on the board. And it's going to be a timeout here for Buffalo. Giving up three consecutive goals. And now we have ourselves a game. Uh, we might be in for some fireworks. Oh, for sure. The The refs are really letting them play and have been in, in most of today, especially as we get later on. You don't want to be the person in a game like this that takes the penalty that puts your team down. And just like that, Buffalo scores. Linus gets another goal sitting right on the doorstep. And uh, it's going to be 6-4 to four with less than 7 to go. And For sure. It's going to be an exciting end of the season with playoffs and everything. Playoffs are Mar May 5th and 6th, I believe. It's a weekend that's definitely circled on my calendar, both for playing and for broadcasting. Well, I mean, it's looking good so far. And uh, Buffalo just adds another goal. So after giving up three consecutive here, they get two to get this lead back up to about a three-goal lead. Couple of players Good move, shot. shot in front, and taped in the back of the net, and that will do it. They get the stop clock, 22 seconds, five, 7 to 5, and we do have ourselves a little bit of a game. I'm surprised. I thought uh, I might be wrong. Uh, a team, I thought, had a timeout. They uh, do have a timeout. We'll see if they call it here. Set something up, maybe. Or they just casually look like they had something set up regardless. And here it's stashed into the net for New Era. And that'll pretty much wrap this one up. That will do it. Final 10 seconds winding down. Congratulations to Buffalo New Era on the victory. Thank you for watching Grove City Hockey.